This 93-year-old Islamic teacher brought Bangladesh capital to a standstill. Ahmed Shafi is the head of Hefazat Islam, an Islamic group that runs the largest network of religious school in the country. He was virtually unknown just only a few months ago. He is now a major figure in Bangladesh's political landscape. Shafi wants a Bangladesh that runs under Islamic law. He wouldn't talk to us. His spokesperson said his health is too frail. But his right-hand man explained the nature of the movement. We have to save our faith and we do not accept this atheist government. Hafazad calls this the seas of Dhaka. Hundreds of thousands of supporters on the streets promising to stay until those who insult them are properly punished. Police and paramilitary forces shot at the crowds with rubber-coated bullets, live ammunition, scores were killed and hundreds were injured. Members of Hafazad and their supporters are still shocked and grief-stricken from the carnage that took place on May at Shapla Square, Dhaka. But their political vision remains clear. We are gathered in here today when the believers of faith are facing unprecedented violence and atrocities. Such orchestrated killing has never taken place in the history of Bangladesh before. We demand and we want a judicial inquiry into these killings and those guilty must be punished. We will continue to struggle to topple this atheist government. The two largest political party of the opposition, Bangladesh Nationalist Party and Jamaat have offered their full support to the movement. But members of Hafazad Islam said they don't need backing of politicians. They believe they have the popular support of the people to protect their religion. Al Jazeera, Chittagong, Southern Bangladesh.